But wait, I thought dating gurus didn't need to pay for sex. Oh, let's not let's not uh, mistake things here. He's not looking for an escort, just a girl that will fuck him twice a month for a minimum of five thousand dollars each time. Okay, let's. I just want to say that uh, I've had pretty good results lately as a result of taking the course, and uh, really looking forward to progressing even more. This uh, dating program was different because it went in depth from the beginning to end, and everything was very organized. So I could optimize every part of the, let's say, game funnel. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle, your dating and relationship coach to help get you way more women, a much higher quality of women, and eventually get that girlfriend that you've always been looking for that's the best combination of external and internal qualities, okay? Or get a rotation of regulars that you are proud of. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Jesse from Endless Options. And someone sent me his Seeking Arrangement profile, okay, which is a Sugar Daddy website, and it explicitly shows him, okay, cat out of the bag, offering what he refers to as a five-figure allowance in his biography, okay? I'm just spilling the beans right off the bat here, but you're going to want to hear the details on this because it's fucking hilarious. And what does that say about this man? Okay, he's offering dating coaching, dating help, etc. He's really just an internet marketer, and I'm going to go into all that stuff. He has no fucking skills at dating. He's a huge fucking nerd. He's a huge fucking loser. And this motherfucker, okay, who was formerly part of Simple Pickup, okay, along with Kong, the Asian dude, and that other dude, Jason, the white guy, and Jesse was the Indian guy, and they made this Simple Pickup bullshit, okay, but he's offering a five-figure allowance. He's saying... Oh, I'm very picky, but if you're, you know, if you if you fit my criteria, then I'll be giving you a five-figure allowance. For those of you that don't know what that means, it's at least ten thousand U.S. dollars a month, and it could be higher. Okay, it's somewhere in the range of between ten thousand dollars and ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Okay, because once you hit a hundred thousand dollars, now you're in six figures. So this motherfucker is offering a girl somewhere between ten and a hundred k a month, which means he's paying for his girls. Definitive proof, and we're going to show the screenshot. Okay, before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. I offer straightforward, practical, no bullshit dating advice. You can press the notification bell for alerts of new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, I also run an eight week mentorship program that gets the best results in the industry, hands down. I have a very systematic, very optimized methodology. I will pack your schedule full of dates, get you tons of matches, tons of phone numbers really make you extremely good at cold approach, approaching women in public that you don't know. And this all happens very, very, very fast. By far the best results in the industry. Jump on a free 30 minute call with the link in the description because prices do go up in January. We're raising the prices at least 10%. So you wanna get involved while you can before the prices go up. Actually, they're gonna be going up a bunch more than 10%, um, probably more around like 20% now that I do the math. So you wanna get involved now what you can, okay? So, and the reason why we're raising the prices is because the demand is growing and we don't have enough slots to accommodate everyone. I wanna make sure I have enough time to equally accommodate every guy with all their questions. So you wanna get involved while you still can before those prices go up, okay? Free 30 minute call, link in the description. Okay, so where did this all begin? Okay, Jesse from Endless Options, he started with simple pickup. And I always give everyone, you know, like a fair fucking chance before I put them on the blacklist and roast the shit out of them, etc. And when Simple Pickup came onto the scene, I watched their infields and I right away realized this is horrible fucking technical game. This is just nonsense. This is guys that suck shit at cold approach. Let's not fucking paint it in any kind of, you know, nice image, even though that's how they presented it. It sucks from a technical standpoint, from a guy that really knows the game inside out. It was horrible pickup. Okay, but I also looked at their product, which I also do with some of these guys to give them a fair chance. And in the infield breakdowns in Project Go, they were saying like Kong, the Asian dude, like he's like, what's your favorite color in the interaction? The girl's like red. And he's like, well, you probably chose red because it's the color of love and Aphrodite and blah, 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 blah. blah. And it sounded like Todd V. Okay, if you know what I'm talking about, check out my video the worst, <laughs> Todd V is the worst. It's like, 
as far from good verbals as you could possibly imagine. And Todd V is selling a Verbal Game Academy course, which is hilarious. Okay. They were fucking god awful. But I will give them this. They were very good at marketing. What they were doing was making, they had like a formula to get viral hits. So what they would do is they would combine horrible, and I can't stress that enough, horrible cold approach pickup with pop culture references. So they'd make YouTube videos. Hey, look at us go and say Harry Potter words to strangers, right? So it's kind of like taking pop culture plus kind of like the prank angle plus like the hidden camera angle and going and doing these shitty pickups saying Harry Potter words, saying Star Wars words, etc., and getting phone numbers from girls that were average or below average looking. Okay, anytime the girl would give a negative reaction, they just do a cut, right? You could tell like the girl was like, eh, and they just do a cut. And it was, they were just showing you bits and pieces and the, and the technical parts of the game were just way, way, way off. And it was really annoying to watch all this unfold because they got very, very, very popular, okay? And they misled a lot of guys in what it really means to be good at game. And then there were articles coming out about them, which maybe they paid for, maybe they didn't, who knows, that said, oh, are these the greatest pickup artists of all time? And it featured Jesse, Kong, and Jason. Okay, I was particularly amused when the Jason dude from Simple was like in the hood, right? Like in the fucking ghetto area saying, hey, you want to kiss my ass? And some dude was like, the fuck up. And he's like, you want to kiss my ass? He thought he was Mr. Funny Boy. And the dude fucking racked him with a hook, knocked him out. Okay, we'll play that clip if my editor is <laughs> able to find this before the production. Yo, I'm just asking you, do you want to kiss my ass? Up, Back the fuck up, nigga. I show with the honor. Just a prank, just a prank, dude. Hey, hey. Damn. Oh, dude, you alright? Yeah, wait, did I get punched? Huh? I didn't feel like I got punched. Damn, I got fing knocked out quick. Holy shit. <laughs> so, that brings us to further in the story. Okay, simple pickup dissolved they went and made jump cut kong and jesse the asian and the indian guy they went and made jump cut which is a training on how to grow your youtube channel Here, here's supposed dating experts that are now teaching you how to be do good at marketing and do good at growing youtube channels okay and furthermore jesse one and then they had like a falling out okay because one of them banged the other's girl blah 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 then jesse went on to form this endless options bullshit okay and now he's claiming Oh, I'm so good at dating and blah, blah, blah. And it's these automated things with Instagram messaging and stuff like that. But let's take a look at his seeking arrangement profile that was sent to me. Okay. So here we have Jesse. It's probably as good as he'll ever look. He's, he's like really stretching things here. Good photography, good lighting, etc. Okay. He does not look anywhere close to this in real life. Net worth $50 million. Okay. Where did that come from? I knew guys that, that uh, knew their marketer when they were doing all this simple pickup nonsense, and all three of those guys were making something like 300K a month or, or something like this, allegedly. Okay, So Jesse has made $50 million, which came from guys like you, okay, who are paying him for dating advice. And what is this esteemed super guru doing? Okay, height 5'9", living in Miami and New York, making more than 1 million a year because that's like the upper limit. He can't even go higher. I'm sure he's making a lot more than 1 million a year. Now in his about me, and we'll get to the, the reveal where he's offering uh, the, the five figures between 10 and 100K, but he has this cheesy bullshit in here, married a hot white girl, blah, 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 half brown baby on the way, just looking for some action, some side action. Just kidding, I'm single. Okay, I'm here looking for one that doesn't want to be labeled and put in a box. Most people on the site seem to have one interest that defines them. They say, I'm an extrovert. I only want to date other extroverts. So I love salsa dancing. I only want another dancer. That's boring. Real fun comes from variety. Okay, if you're the kind of girl who wants to go mountain biking on the, I don't even know how to pronounce that, and spend the next night getting a drink in a trendy underground bar somewhere, off the beaten path, then we'll get along. Okay, he's trying to flex, be cool. You can tell he's a fucking loser. I'm an extremely ambitious and driven person. Okay, I'm very good at business and marketing. He even says that actually later in the thing. Keep in mind, he's touting himself as a dating coach, okay? I'm an extremely ambitious and driven person and like meeting similarly minded people. I spend most of my free time with people I love, working on a mission of changing the world of education. Life goal is to help kids. <laughs> God. Help kids who don't have access to education, okay? Hit me with your best shot at dark humor, which is the best humor, or ask me any question. Travel or dogs are also good topics. P.S. Please stop asking if I'm real. I did the background check. Very, this is the kind of guy that would be like, yeah, just in case you guys are wondering, I do have a supercar, okay? Why would anyone ask if this guy's real, okay? He's not particularly great looking. He's not particularly cool in, in, in his profile, 
Okay, this is just bullshit like trying to pump his value. Oh, everyone thinks I'm fake. I did the background check verification. You don't need to be worried. Okay, and then he, here he goes flexing further. This will probably be the most honest seeking arrangement profile you ever read. I get a lot of messages and I'm super selective. Now he's, oh, I need to be the in the buyer frame. I'm not the seller. It's all cheese. If you're my type, we can make each other's lives easier. I'm willing to give you a generous allowance. Let's pause. If you're my type and we can make each other's lives easier, I'm willing to give a generous allowance. Reveal how much? Yes, he will. On to the next one. If you have an interest in learning business or investing, I'd love to help you absolutely crush it in that regard. But wait, Jesse, I thought you were a dating guru. Hey, business and investing. Ideally, here we go. The grand reveal. Ideally, you would take the five-figure monthly allowance I give you and multiply it many times through intelligent investing. Happy to help there. Okay. So he, okay, let's read between the lines. Actually, we don't need to read between the lines. He's explicitly saying, if I end up dating you, I will give you figures, which means, again, to reiterate, somewhere between 10K and 100K, but at least at a minimum, by definition, 10K. So to all you Endless Options fans, okay, of the little fucking loser who's masquerading as a dating coach named Jesse, know now that he has a sugar daddy profile where he is openly offering $10,000 a month, which me at a minimum, keep in mind, okay, who knows, could be 40,000, could be 100,000, no, it can't be 100,000, could be 99,000. $999. That's still five figures. Okay. But it's at least 10,000. Now, if we go across 12 months, that means he's, he's offering to give a girl $120,000 a year. Let's pause. How many of you guys watching this make $120,000 a year? Okay. I know this video will be watched by a bunch of endless options fans. Okay. Simple pickup fans. Jesse's my hero. Okay. He's offering at a minimum, I can't stress that enough because it just says five figures, so we don't know where in the range is. We'll have to do a maximum here. At a minimum, 10K times 12 is 120K. If we did just shy of 100K times 12, that, that comes just shy of $1.2 million per year. Okay, but he has a net worth of 50 million, so he doesn't give a fuck. And where did he get that money? He got it through internet marketing, business, and investing, as he says. Okay. But wait, he's a dating coach. He's a dating guru. He's supposed to be the master. No, he's fucking robbing you blind. And he's using your money to pay some fucking whore who's out on this site looking to fuck guys for money. And he's saying, hey, if you meet my great selection of criteria, I'm willing to pay you per year between 120 grand and just shy of 1.2 million. How do you guys like that? As I said, probably a lot of you watching this, probably the majority of you watching this, do not make 120 grand a year. While the whore that ends up with Mr. Pickup Guru Hero, Jesse from Endless Options, she's making a minimum of 120 year, 20K a year through this fucker, okay? Masquerade as a dating coach, wrap it all up with a ton of flashy and optimized internet marketing, extract tons of fucking impressionable young men's money and then go and spend it on some fucking whore okay who he's gonna pay to rail out at least 120 <laughs> like it's funny there's like a gilbert <laughs> a gilbert godfried uh line where he, he was like on some roast and i think of the bob saget roast and he's like bob saget raped and killed a woman in 1990. He was just like making up some bullshit, but he was saying it so emphatically and he kept saying it over and over and over. When Bob Saget raped and killed a woman, blah, blah, blah. And he just kept saying it over and over and it was just super funny. We can do the same thing here. When Jesse from Endless Options, okay, bangs some whore off the website, he's paying her between 120 grand and just shy of $1.2 million per year. And that's just for one girl. Who knows how many he has? If he were to get two or three, that bumps the numbers significantly. Okay, let's say he had three girls at that same rate, hypothetically, he would now be paying anywhere between $360,000 per year at a low end for three of these girls at that rate. 
or just shy of $3.6 million. <laughs> oh, fuck this niche. Seriously. Fuck all the guys that fuck all you guys over. Seriously. That's the big problem. Okay. So, yeah. I will leave you with that. Uh, well, let's read the rest of this here. Let's actually read the, that, that last statement again one more time. So fucking sad. And I love how he wraps all this up. Oh, I get a lot of messages. By the way, it's the most honest profile you ever read. So he's not just exaggerating. He's being 100% honest that he will pay these girls between ten grand and $99,999 per month if he selects them with his great standards. Okay, Or he could just have actual game, but that's not an option, is it, Jesse? So, <laughs> I get a lot of messages and I'm super selective, but if you're my type and we can make each other's lives easier, I'm willing to give a generous allowance. If you have an interest in learning, blah, 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 ideally you take the time, you take the five-figure monthly allowance, I give you multiple that many times, through intelligent investing. I can only meet twice a month. <laughs> oh, this gets better. I forgot about this part. I can only meet twice a month because of my schedule. I'm not needy for your attention, and at the same time, I'm not looking for an escort. Genuine chemistry, mutual attraction, and respect for each other are a must. You have your life outside the arrangement, I have mine. Okay, so now we can narrow it down further. These girls are getting $5,000 at a minimum per meet. Do the math. If a girl's getting five thousand five, <laughs> if a girl's getting five figure payment from this fucking dating guru, okay, that he made through his internet marketing and, and business operations, scamming you guys, in other words, okay, taking your hard earned money. <laughs> okay, I'm like losing. Okay, if he's willing to pay between ten and ninety nine k, okay, that means if there's only two meetups per month, he's paying them at a minimum five k each time 5k meetup or at a high end potentially almost fifty thousand dollars per meet <laughs> but wait i thought dating gurus didn't need to pay for sex oh let's not let's not uh mistake things here he's not looking for an escort just a girl that will fuck him twice a month for a minimum of five thousand dollars each time okay let's let's be clear on that one uh, looking for someone that has a mission in life and is <laughs> working toward it. The idea of a win-win scenario resonates with you. Hit me up. I would require. I would one hundred percent require a quick video call before deciding to meet. Okay. Just so we both feel good about it and do a vibe check. Okay. There. That's wonderful. Okay. If you want to learn a real solution where you can bang girls for free, hot girls on demand for free, get lots of matches and phone numbers and dates for free. Okay, and close girls on autopilot and retain them all for free. Jump on a free 30-minute call. We will answer all your questions, show you how you can reach all your goals and fix all your weaknesses in the game very quickly. <laughs> and, oh, God, my head hurt. And prices are going up in January, okay, not for marketing and business reasons because I have a real system and the rest of the industry is a bunch of fucking clowns, okay? Besides Alex from Playing With Fire, who's also offering practical advice. Okay, but he's mostly just online and texting. I offer the full solution. How to crush cold approach. How to crush online. How to crush online messaging and texting over the phone. How to run your dates. How to close your dates. How to retain. You have lots of infield footage included in my week program where you can see everything done in action. From, from the moment I walk up to the girl and say hello all the way to taking her home. Both at clubs and during the daytime. Also full length dates. How do I move things forward? How do I sexualize? What am I talking about, et cetera, et cetera. There is a real system. I have optimized it. It's the best system in the world, hands down. Okay, jump on that free 30-minute call. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please like, comment, and share. Sad as fuck, sad as fuck. Jesse, you fucking suck. You're a disgrace. Okay, it's hilarious. Somebody found that. Thank you for sending me. And send me more, guys. I love publishing this stuff. Okay, it's, it's sad and sad. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Wherever there's smoke, there's fire. Okay, you, you have no idea how deep this stuff goes. I know a lot of stuff that I can't even say online for one reason or another. Okay, so uh, thank you guys. It's been a blast. Please subscribe below. Please press the notification bell and there will be alerts every day at 2 p.m. Eastern time for my new videos. Thank you guys so much and I will see you all on the next video. And if you're an endless options fan, just know what kind of person that you're looking up to Okay, for that dating advice. Okay, take care guys. And Jay don't stand in line, I ain't never had to wait I'm the realest in this game, I ain't never had to fake Just take a look at the sky
scores, I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.